All right, guys, we're almost at the end of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds run, episode number 40, Duelist Revolution. Before we begin with Duel Night, a huge shout out to all our Patreon members. Without you guys, Duel Night would not be where it's at today. Thank you guys so much for your generous contribution and support. If you guys wanna get early access to all Duel Night episodes, Ultimate Losers Match, best two out of three finals, and so much more. Be sure to sign up for the Patreon in the link in the description box below. Again, from the bottom of my heart, on behalf of Duel Night team and I, thank you guys so much for supporting Duel Night. All right, guys, without further ado, let's roll the intro. Welcome to Duel Night. This is a brand new draft series where four players take their deck building and dueling skills to the next level. It goes like this. The set for every episode will be divided into four piles. One for each player to draft a single card from and switching piles afterwards until there are no more cards left to draft. Each duelist comes up with a 40 card deck using their drafted cards, dueling one another in a best of one. The winners of each duel will proceed to the finals battling for the title of champion. The deck box continuously builds as each set progresses, adding the best cards from previous sets to the arsenal. Watch as the four of us do it off to see who can become the master of Duel Night. Let's begin. Duelist Revolution, we're on 5Ds part two now. It's about to get cheeky up in here. More synchros, more monsters are gonna be introduced, and now it's time to rev it up. Chuck, roll the intro. Nature is a mesmerizing masterpiece. A tapestry woven with a menagerie of fascinating organisms existing in harmony. However, the colossal collage of diversity is not immune to the wicked treachery of greed. Over several millennia, conniving beings evolved, acquiring the knowledge to enhance themselves mechanically. The Gen X monsters mindlessly modified each other with the nefarious object of controlling reality. The malignant mission terrorized the vibrant forests, polluting and transforming them into barren landscapes. Though the endeavors had an inadvertent outcome, flora and fauna mutated, becoming intoxicated by the power that possessed Gen X. From the epicenter of the cyber city came forth wretched monsters, amalgams of scraps barely resembling the beauty that had preceded it. Behemoths with the ability to reform, recycle, and launch relentless barrages of fury. The remnants of the environment farther away transformed too, retaining their majestic forms but haunted with the avarice that birthed them. Plentiful plants awoke into consciousness, not spared the fate of the animal kingdom. The beasts, scraps, and naturias, all condemned by higher beings to eternal agony, they sought to topple the regime that surrounded them. The grandeur of nature is set to arise again, with the dualist revolution. Machines and science set out to finally snuff out the natural world. Who shall prevail? Find out this episode of Duel Night! Duelist! Welcome to a brand new episode of Duel Night. Today we got Duelist Revolution, super epic set. You know, got some awesome secret monsters in here. Really excited to get right into it. Duel Night, what is up? I am back, baby. It's been a minute. Man, I've had to take some time off. Being a dad, it's very busy life. So I'm ready to kick some behind in this Duel Night. Super excited and we have the regular cast. So this is a hype time. I can't wait to get into this. Duel Knight, glad to be back. It's time to take my trophy. Guys, I'm very excited for this Duel Knight episode because we got the original gang back in action. Denzel is back. You know what I'm saying? Denzel is back. 
the worst duelist in the entire world. So you know that means this episode will be absolutely easy. Hopefully I face him today and send him to the Shadow Realm, man. But I'm excited for this episode. Let's go. Hi right, guys, we are back. We're heading into actually, guys. You know that we're on Five D's Part Two now. Oh, you know, well, 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 sets. You know how there's twelve sets in a year. Yeah. So now we're halfway. You know what I'm saying? Now we're Meet on. Me halfway. Uh, That's where we're at. Really, yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. All right, All right guys. We're on to Doors Revolution. And guys, guys, guess what? Let's celebrate the return of. The Denzel. No, yeah. not only me. This is the OG crew, though. Yeah. This is what set it off. This, this is what started it. And I'm going to finish it today. Ooh. Let's go, baby. Bro so, Woo. bro, so I think you have the best record against Jesse Conn in this room. I do. Certainly. Any of you got, you guys lost? You guys all lost to lost. <laughs> How you guys lose to that clown? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? Guys, oh, are sorry, you sorry, kidding me? Denzel, you beat him once. Are you kidding I me? Eight times. Oh. Oh. And you lost how many times to him? Less than that. Countless <laughs> amounts of times. Zero. I got a goose egg against that guy. Come on. This guy can't beat me at all. Does everybody congratulate Denzel right now in the comments. He's officially a father. Woo! Yes, sir. He's a father now. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. And I'm about to be your father for this episode. All right, guys. Doers Revolution. Get ready for some amazing decks to be shown today. May the best drafter win. Are you guys ready? Let the draft begin! All right, ladies and gents, here we Scrap Daddy. I open crap. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. Yo, 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 can you sing this, this song? No, 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 no. no. Wait. 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 Woo! Huh? Continue. Wait. She let the way that I rock. Whoa. Whoa. She let the way that I move. Whoa. Whoa. She let the way that I want. Whoa. She let the way that I do. She let the clap for a duelist. She let the clap for a duelist. And she throw it back on the duelist. She throw it back on the duelist. Michael, <laughs> Michael Mary, Mary, Michael Mary. Mary. Billy Jean, Billy Jean. Huh? Uh, Christian Dior, Dior. Hello, the world is slow. All right, guys, so after one hour of intense drafting, Steven, how's your deck? Garbage. Wait, wait, what? Are you serious? No, obviously not. Wait, so you're not confident in your deck or what? I don't know. I don't think it's that good. Okay, okay, all right, okay. This is the first we see Steven say something like that. So, um, Lano, how about you? It was, hopefully it works. You know, I've got some cool cards that I like to play with in here, so you know what? Okay. I'm good at using them. Benza, ooh, what is that? What are you doing there? What are you doing? It's plotting. Wait, why are you smiling at that? <laughs> <laughs> No, how's your neck? Yo, he's got a secret to keep, bro. All right, guys, here we go. Under here is two Scrap Dragons and two Thunder Unicorn. Are you guys ready? Steven, you ready? Good. Denzel? Ready. I'm ready, too. One, two, three. That's me. Come uh, on. Come on. Steven, I'm facing Steven. Sam, Sam, Sam. Three, two, one. Yes! Oh, bro, you're going down, you're bro. You're done for, bro. You're done for. I'll put on my tryhard pants. Let's wrap it up! Milano! Guys, if, if, if Milano doesn't beat me in today's episode, I think we have to find a replacement now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think Milano's gonna ever win a duel episode if he's gonna face me in the first round. <laughs> I faced Denzel. I'm happy he's back on duel night. I'm gonna be even happier to beat him. Let's do this. Ooh, up against Sam while... Well, Playing against Sam either ends in two ways. Either I get super destroyed, or Sam catches the work. So, I mean, I'm excited to see how it turns out. Ho oh, ho! Steven Trip Gaming! Okay. See, I don't mind facing Steven. Like, if he wins, I think we got the better of each other. Like, he's got me sometimes, I got him sometimes. And, you know what? This could go either way. I'm feeling pretty confident. Draft just finished. This is my deck list. Pretty classic 25,000 traps Steven deck. However, there's a nice twist to it. I will be allowed to use the 20 traps. My opponent will not. I built this deck in a way that there's 10 floaters that you see here. Each of them are all get each other in some way or another thanks to Sangan. And the fact that Mystic Tomato is a plant 
tomato gets sandwich, you get anything else. And then the idea of it is that each of them get either a tuner or an Atoria bamboo shoot. So the premise of this deck is that with each of these 10, they're gonna slow down the duel, but I will always have the option if I have an Aturia bamboo shoot in my hand to get any of those 10 floaters into an Aturia monster, which is then either a tuner or an Aturia name to tribute bamboo shoot. So the idea is bamboo shoot control or synchro beatdown combination of that with 25 traps. Let's see how it works. Cause I already know, no one's gonna set a chance. So we just finished drafting and here is my deck list. So I opted to play the beast deck. I opened up my draft with many book of moons, couple uh, utility spell cards. So I decided, you know what? I want a good flip monster deck. I managed to get the super nimble mega hamster, which is the ultimate G. This guy can summon any beast monster from your deck in face down defense position when he's flip face up. So the monster I used to pair up with that is Raikou. And Raikou is just gonna be the removal of my deck. And the main reason why I play this strategy is to get my baboons to the graveyard. My baboons are the boss monster of the deck. I can summon my green baboon from the graveyard and my yellow baboon from hand. So I can pull up with a onslaught of 2,600 beaters. I have a lot of generic powerful beast cards like Rush Recklessly, Super Rush Recklessly. These cards will give my beast monsters a way to beat the beat sticks because my guys are a lot smaller but using these trap cards as well as some powerful flip effects I will be able to overcome them. I managed to draft a lot of good staple cards you know Book of Moon that's one of my favorites to go for. I got a Fiendish Chain. I think my utility cards are perfectly fine. I'm just excited to see how this engine plays out today. All right, guys, so the draft just finished. I think I have one of the most competitive decks in the entire room. Here is my deck list. I am playing Gen X. This deck is actually pretty interesting because we have a lot of ways to interact with Gen X controller. Obviously, in a Gen X deck, Gen X controller is the most important card in the entire deck. It's a normal monster. That's why you guys see Silent Dooms and, of course, Swing of Memories in my deck. Being able to constantly revive back Gen X controller from the graveyard to get access to my single plays is absolutely crucial. And on top of that, one of the coolest cards in my deck is called Gen X Doctor. What this card does is I contribute a Gen X controller to pop one card on the field. So with combinations of Doctor and Swing of memories i can keep reviving back controller from the graveyard so i can pop multiple cards on the field and gen x researcher actually gets special this card directly from the deck so that's why it's a one of in my deck for the first five cards drafted i really want to prioritize undying getting access to that immediately is really important because it gets access to my giant controller and same thing with gen x neutron as well especially since i have amazing discard cards like phoenix windmill blast and regeki break that's in my deck to be able to feed the graveyard with gen x controller so guys my deck is a control deck, synchro genix deck. I'm very excited for this deck list right here, guys. Without further ado, time to send Milano to the Shadow Realm. Just finished the draft and I I kind of say like my deck's looking pretty nice right now, okay? So basically what I'm doing is I'm going for the scrap deck, okay? I did some kind of research right before the draft and because I knew what kind of sets we were working in and scrap seemed to be the way to go. And all the cards that I wanted, I got on my register. Draft Dragon and Scrap Archfiend, boss monsters on my deck. Hopefully I can get my engine running quick enough to get those in the graveyard and start looping Scrap Chimera. That's one of the best cards in my deck to normal summon. And then I can just start making combos. The only problem is I got one Scrap Archfiend. So I'm hoping that doesn't come back to haunt me in the end because these other guys drafted the other two. I'm not sure what kind of decks they're building, but I got three Scrap Dragons. As long as I get the Scrap Dragon out early, start popping cards, get advantage, I think I should be in a good spot. I got a lot of good, also, battle traps and traps to get rid of their stuff. I think my deck's gonna work out pretty well. I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, do list. Lalo, can you give me some of your energy, bro? Whoa! <laughs> it's time to do it. My name is Yami Yugi. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Lalo, you ever want to do an episode? Yeah, I hope you win. I will win. Not. Stop being a waste, you. With your with one, one. Give that. Give okay, that die. Practice roll. All right, sure. No, I'm kidding. Fine. Give, give, man, give me the dice, man. Give me better than one. What? That's... Nah, bro. Not like this. Not like this. Come on. 
Yes! Whoa, whoa, what? It touched your neck, though. Like, yo, that wasn't your proper roll. That wasn't your proper roll. Okay, if I run it back and I win? Yeah. Oh, it wasn't Destiny, bro. It wasn't Destiny. Yeah, man. All right, would you like to go first or second? Go first. You, 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 yeah, did you come in there? Oh, no, I didn't, but I guess let's start. Duel! Drop a turn, Milano. All right. Yeah. Here. I know what's up, man! Genix Neutron! No way, bro. That's a good opening play. I will go... That um, is a very good opening play. I will go... Uh, that is a very good opening play. I will activate Gold Star Cophagus. Okay. Uh, you don't see it, right? No, I do see it. What are you talking about? You, see, you sure? Of course! Gold Star What are you talking about? <laughs> Got you there. I was tricking you. Sam, yeah. don't play me for a fool. Bro, what card are you going to Gold Star from your deck? I don't know, bro. You need to make up your dang mind. Honestly, I'm a Gold Sark. Um, I'm a Gold Sark for Swings of Memory. So Gold Sark searching for Swings of Memory. The reason why this is important is because once I get my Genex controller in the graveyard, my engine is basically steamrolling my opponent, but I get any access to Doctor and obviously Genex controller. Swings of Memories will be able to revive Genex controllers from the graveyard. And I also drafted two DD Crows. That means Milano, once I have Genex controller in the graveyard, he won't be able to remove it from my grave. <laughs> Yo, I really love this card. I actually drew it when I was a child. What? Swing of Memory? Oh, you drew it? Yeah. Oh, you drew it? Yeah, I drew oh, it. Oh, you can draw? No. Oh. Not a very good drawer. I don't know. It's like a stick out. man beside the. I will set one card face down, Milano. End phase activate Genic Neutron's effect. And that's fine. During the end phase of this turn, this card is normal stuff. You can add one machine tuner monster from my deck to my hand. Genic's controller? Is that it? Is I'm that the, I think that's the Genics only one. Controller. Yeah, I knew uh. it. Ha 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 ha. Controller. Controller. Hey. Yeah. Controller. Controller. All right. I need a one dance. dance. I'm gonna see you in my head. Oh. One more time. Draw it for turn. Let's go. You can go, buddy. All right. Stand my main. All right, guys. So I had opened two yellow baboons in my opening hand with no way to get any cards in the graveyard. I'm just going to have to let Sam beat me down until I get two beasts in the graveyard, and then I'll be able to start finally playing. I will normal summon yes. Hypnocorn, and I'll use Hypnocorn. Okay, it's level five. Oh, I thought it was level five. I will activate my Hypnocorn's effect. Since I control no other monsters, and you do, I get to target a set card on the field and destroy it. What? I know. It's Extremely powerful. That's crazy. I'll activate my Phoenix Win Win Blast. I will discard my controller. Top controller. deck. See, I told you. Phoenix Win Win Blast, any controller to the graveyard. My engine now begins. Wow. Top that deck, bro. is very annoying, bro. Top deck, bruh. Bruh. GG, dead. Absolutely. I'll play down two more face downs and I'll pass the turn. I don't care. I'm not scared of your back, bro. Draw. Dude! I will normal summon. Normal summon. My Genix Neutron. Bruh, like yo, you you're crazy at this game. I will bro. enter a battle phase. Neutron, neutralize blast. Okay, I'll take both. I'll take both. That's thirty-two hundred. Sorry, I mean thirty-six. Yep. I will be. And at that is one turn on Gold Zark. And now Milano, I end my turn. End phase. I was gonna this shark you if you let forgot. Let me add. A tuna, a machine tuna, tuna, tuna. All right, add your pathetic Another controller. Another controller. 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 All right, all right, you're done for. Go, go, go. Draw. Yeah, 4,400. Oh, what did you draw? Draw a hypno cord? What a useless card. Bro, why are you telling? It's a useless card. All right, I mean, I have to make a play here that I'm not too happy about, but sure, these sure. guys are actually giving me the beatdown. I'm yeah. almost summon my elephant. What does that do? Oh, elephant's quite oh, it, the beast. It singles through your hand, right? No. No, you're thinking of Hop Your Squadron. Oh, All right, okay. enter battle phase. Whoa, whoa, what does it do? <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't even know my strategy, bro. You don't oh. even know my strategy, bro. Battle phase, yeah. is that fine? That's fine. I'll target your Neutron. Wow. So I think I have to Econ in order to out his two Neutrons. I have just zero way of beating this guy with my opening hand right now, considering half of my hand is dead. I'm going to have to sacrifice my Econ and my... Any monster to just get these out of the way so I could at least answer the board. Just and now, boom, 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 boom both well, of them okay, died. Okay, wait, can you resolve that properly, bro? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, go do it. Attack. Okay, no, yeah, let's do this. Oh, no way, if you honestly, let's, let's, I'm let's quitting Yu-Gi-Oh for life. Okay, let's do that, yeah, okay? Go. Yeah. Target. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Resolution. Yep. Enter battle. Well, we're still in battle phase. Declare cool. attack. Sure. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. No problem. No, I thought it was funnier that they were, like, making love. All right, end of main. Yep. Skip battle. Yep. End phase. Oh, I'm not playing Runic. Fast. Yep. 
Wow. Your normal summon my Genic Searcher. What does he do? It's Search. A giant rat. Understandable. All right. Enter battle phase. Um. Six. Oh, discard. So no yeah, yeah, that goes to your hand. Yeah, it goes to my hand. Yeah, it's automatic. Back for sixteen. All right, I'll take it. Little sixteen, be done, take it. I'll be at twenty-eight to your eight K. Your turn. Draw. Your. Yo, nice finish chain back there. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Well, Set up your... face down monster and I will pass. What did your deck actually do? Broski. I don't know. <laughs> Draw. Wow, Milano, I think you're at you're 28? Yeah. Pathetic. Dude. I will activate Silent Doom for my grave. Is that okay? Yes. This card says I gotta ride back a Genesis controller from the graveyard. Mm-hmm. Any response to this? No. Okay. I will normal summon Genix Doctor. Calling priority. I can tribute a Genesis controller. Uh, I can shoot it to destroy a card on the field. Okay. I think destroy this. Target. <sighs> My beast rising. Wow. And I'll activate Swing of Memory to revive that Genesis controller. Sure. On summon. Yep. Activate Naturi Cosmo Beat. What, that, special summon. what does that do? It just special summons. What are normal summons? Or s no, normal summons are sets, bro. Oh, bro, what an accident. All right, that was, oh, oh. That's, sure. Activate Doctor? Yeah. Should controller pop that? Yeah, sure. You're at exactly 28. <laughs> Attack for a day. Yeah, bro, sick. <laughs> sick game, bro. Hold <laughs> on, uh. what, what deck is this? Bro, what do you mean? My hand was clearly ass, bro. What do you mean, fam? <laughs> I've, okay, okay, I've, tri I've triple duality. I've triple uh, Mega Nimble Hamster. I've triple Raikou. It seems that Sam had like a pretty good combo with his opening hand with a lot of the Gen X monsters. I never really managed to get to any of my strategy, unfortunately, for the millionth time. This keeps happening to me, but... You know what, Sam? Sam's deck was clearly at least above average, so I'm glad that he beat me. Good luck to the re for the rest, Sam. However, I'm rooting for whoever you're up against. I need a doctor. I need a doctor to bring me back to life. GG Milano. I told you, Genix Doctor is the best card in my deck. GG. Steven, what's good, brother? Nice to see you back. It's been a long time. I know. So, business as usual. Clean sweep, and I'll see not you in the finals. I don't know about that, Sam. See you in the finals, baby. Hey, hey, you already hey, know hey. how it is. We'll go high roll. No, wait, wait, wait. I thought you were seeing Milano in the finals, not me. No, because you beat him. Oh, that was nice. Very quickly. Yeah, I, wow. I might as well call me Flash. Yeah, Any words on that, Milano? Broski. <laughs> It's done, it's done, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tensions are high up here in Duel dirty. Night. The mask's dirty. It's all right. Okay, let's go. Roll. I, roll. I was gonna say five. Doesn't Actually, count as no. the bounce. Oh! Six! Destined! I will go Watch. first. Good luck. Let's go! Three, four, five, and six. Draw for my turn. I think this is good, or maybe it's not. Okay. What I am going to Yo, I'll do. be totally honest here, my hand's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be totally honest here. I like that. That's looking good. I'm gonna set one. I'm gonna set another one. Wait! On the set, I'm gonna summon the Turia Cosmo There's Beat! There's no way that's a real thing. <laughs> when your opponent normal summons their sets of monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay, well that's a problem. Jesus. The only okay. time it's good to use it right now when you <laughs> can't attack it. Well, if you put it in like, turn one, it goes on attack or defense. Okay. Then I guess I'm going to set one I'm okay again, with that. and then I will pass the turn. Draw. I got some pretty good battle traps set. I'm ready to go against whatever Steven has. I have a bottomless. I have a fiendish chain. All I need to do is get my monsters going so I can get my engine running and start bringing out these boss synchro monsters. All right. For my turn, I'm going to assume that it has low defense. I'm going to summon giant rats. You scared? No. And then... Naturia Bakiron! <laughs> That's, I can't believe I actually summoned Naturia Synchro. Whoa, okay, well. That's a pretty big start. Uh, not the card I wanted to see on the other end. I mean, if I had a solemn warning, that would be nice. But right now, if I don't get out a good monster soon enough, it's looking pretty bad. Yes, you scared? It's like a dragon. You're scared, all right. Oh yeah. Nice trap cards. 
They are about to be useless. If that's a Raikou, I will be very disappointed. Attack! Haha, -ha, Scrap ah. Goblin! So Scrap Goblin says, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. If this face-up defense position card is selected as an attack target, destroy this card at the end of the battle phase. Oh no. I'll have to set one and pass to you. This is part one of my strategy, to get some combination of Bamboo Shoot or Barkeon or Beast up on the field, and then I protect them with a bunch of back row, and I continuously, every single turn with floaters, will be continuously putting up these Floodgate monsters. That'll be too much for Denzel to deal with. Draw for my turn. I am going to pass my turn. Draw. Exactly what I was looking for. Missing Tomato! Summon my Missing Tomato. I'm my Ontario Barkeon. Is the summon successful? Summon is successful. I'll enter the battle phase. Missing Tomato, attack. Scrap Goblin. Sure. It's not being destroyed. Oh, yeah. It's at the end of the battle phase. I this card cannot be destroyed by battle. And at the end of the battle phase, right? Yeah, it'll just not right it'll away. get destroyed. That was my mistake. End of battle phase. Yes. Destroy that card. Later, dude. And I will pass. Draw for my turn. Stand by main phase. Yes. I will use Scrap Yard. Scrap Yard. Add a Scrap Tuner from your deck to your hand. That is successful. Okay. So Scrap Yard will search me. The Scrap Beast. Scrap Beast? Sounds good. And then what I will do is normal summon and activate the effect. Ooh! That's a good one. So this card's normal summon, you can target a scrap tuner in your grave and special it. That's really good. That's fine. And then, well, all these cards are combined. What happens when they combine? I will. No. Summon. No. Scrap. No. Hey. It's not like I was expecting that or something like that, but I'll still let that go because I'm not scared of that card. <laughs> Scrap Archfiend. Oh my god, I think I'm going to lose a duel now. If I sucked at the game. Enter battle face. Oh no. Don't do it. Put that card in defense, please. <laughs> that's right. Barkeon survives one more day. That was set one again. Go ahead. Draw. What all right, for my next move, I will normal summon UFO Turtle. And then I'll enter the battle phase. Yep. Barking on, kill that. And then attack with both Turtle will, and Tomato. I will take 2,800. Putting you at 5,200. After that, I'll decide to pass. I am going to activate Jar of Greed. Jar, oh, I know what you're doing. You're trying to, <laughs> smart. Okay. Oh, do I do that now? I'm going to have to take a chance and let that go. Because I can only... Wait, sorry. All right, wait. Yeah, I was right. So banish two of these. Yeah. Just in case. So the next traps are not resolving. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to normal scrap coming up. That's successful. Would you like to use the effect? Yes. I'm going to act That's good. Effect. No veiler. It's a special scene. Scrap coming Sounds good. Okay. And then what I will do... Are they not also like to stop you here? And just to give a shout out to my boy Sam who dropped his other scrap marsh piece. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> and now... We passing? I will. No, we are not passing. What are you making? The heck? Oh my goodness. So, turns out not having that other scrap arch fiend came back to haunt me. Because using my Chimera to try to get back the tuner so I can make another monster, I didn't have anything big enough. And now I also don't even have any scrap monsters to make. So this is a misplay and I'm pretty sure it's going to cost me the game. All right. Well, then I will have to just enter the battle phase and I will attack. No, not my UFO turtle. I'll take 300 and I'll use the effect of UFO turtle. Finally, you'll be able to see what my deck is designed to do. Bring out Lone Fire Blossom. 
Anything else for your turn? Pass. Draw. Oh my gosh. The end is nigh for you, my friend. I will use the effect of Lone Fire Blossom, sending itself to the grave. Oh, that's annoying. I didn't have that other one. I'm going to send it for Naturia Rose Whip. Now, I know what you're thinking. Steven, you're going to synchro, right? Wrong. Tribute Summon Naturia Bamboo Shoots. Shoots. <laughs> ah, man. Well, didn't see that one coming, and that is not good for me right now. We're in a little bit of a sticky spot now. I know what you're thinking as well after that. Oh, I, true. No, I know I'm losing. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking. <laughs> I oh my gosh. I know I you're also. I destroyed that from early. I know you're also thinking, wow, I uh, probably am done with my turn now, most likely. No. Wrong again. No, Out of Avarice. Just trying to hype myself up. That's all thanks. For exactly five to draw two. Oh my gosh. All right. Then, I'm going to enter the battle phase. Mystic Tomato. Attack. And I'll take 300 points of damage. Okay. Using the effect of Mystic Tomato to bring out Sangan. This dies at the end, bat, end of battle. Attack it. You attack if this negates its effect? No. Destroy. That'll be 800. 800, 2800, that is 30, uh, 36, you're at 44. And then I'll attack this. Okay. End of battle. Pass. I don't know what gets through this, to be honest. Not that good, that's for sure. <laughs> set one, face down. On the set, special oh. summon, Antonio Cosmo Beat. Of course, and it just continues, and I will <laughs> set two mysterious, nope, one mysterious card, one. and end my turn. Go ahead. All right, I will use Jar of Greed. Of course. I will draw. All right, I have a few options here. Calculating. Calculating over. I will Synchro Summon Sangan and enter your Cosmo Beat for Magical Android, and then... Sadly, Sangen is not in Earth, otherwise until your beast would have hit the field for fun. Sangen will then trigger. Sangen will trigger to add me Effect Veiler. I'm not done. And then I will summon Giant Rat. And I'll enter the battle phase. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you are at, you took 3600 year 44. So, just a secure victory, just in case. I'll attack with Android. <laughs> Barking on! Putting in 1900! Yes. And Bamboo Shoot for yes. game! Yes. GG! Yes. Oh my goodness! Yo, Denzel, turn one, you yeah, I know, for sure. I should have just done this. Hold your hand. Hold your hand. He didn't set bottomless. That's all it was. Wait, why'd you set bottomless? There's no heavy storm in the draft. Okay, if he had True Nade or whatever. Well, I didn't expect that to be turn one. He's going to play that. That's how it goes. Never played Scraps in my life. And to be honest, never probably going to play them again. This is a, an archetype that probably was strong back then. But since I haven't used them, wasn't too familiar with the strategies and stuff like that. I need to come back on an episode when they got Dark Magician. Because this is just ridiculous. I think I can win a best two out of three. So if you look at the Patreon, I guarantee you I can win. Denzel, GG, glad to have you on here. Bye to take care of my business to move on to the next one. There's no freebies around here. Thank you for coming, Denzel. Bye to take care of the business. Now on to Sam. Steven! Sam? Honestly, this is already predestined. You know, it's always good <laughs> in the finals, you know? I think I, what was it, last finals? I beat you too, right? No, 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 you beat me in two, the two ago? top four. You beat me in top four. You beat me in the oh. first round. Oh, for all the wins, my it's bad. It's all good, bro. It's okay. You know what? I was really disappointed. I, I didn't get to see what Milano, Milano's deck did. It looked really promising. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I'm very excited for you guys' Patreon match. You guys have to run it back on Patreon, you guys. Yeah. You can show your skill on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see you. Good luck, bro. Let's do it. Four. That's a four. 
One. Let's start. Good luck, my brother. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All right, Steven, I will draw for turn if you're okay with that. I am okay with that. All right, I will. Oh, this is not that good. All right. All right, I will activate Gold Sarcophagus. Yep. This card allows me <clears throat> to banish any card in my deck. And I, get, and I get it in two turns. Yes. So I hope you're banishing a good card. I'm going to banish Swings of Memory. Swing of Memories, okay. The same play I did with Milano. Gold Sark for Swings of Memory. Like I said, once I get that control in the graveyard, I have all the DD Crows, so my Swings of Memory and my Silent Doom Engine will officially become live. So Swings of Memory, probably one of the best cards in my deck. So that tells me, that tells me a bit about your hand then. Yeah. That tells me that you for sure have either Generous Controller or one of the starters. So otherwise you would have searched that starter to begin your plays. Wow, you're so smart. Thank you. I would say you probably also have like a trap stun in there. You're actually a genius. And I'll say you have like three garbage cards. That's you're actually, my assumption. You're actually a very genius. Actually, I'd say you, it's a controller, not a starter. Otherwise you wouldn't have said that it was uh, a bad hand. I will set one card face down. Yes. And another card face down. Wonderful. And this will end my turn. Wonderful. Draw. Yes, sir. Okay, this is... Not that bad at all. Summon Mystic Tomato. Okay, the potato potato. I think it has 1200 defense. Attack. Cool. I'm gonna. Genix Whoa! This card, if it destroy a battle, get a special summon, of course, a Genix monster. Nice. 1500 LS. Wow, nice. Uh, it's like my it's like your own Mystic Tomato. Is it yeah, it's it's something like that, something like that. This will let me special summon, of course. My Genix controller from my deck. Nice. All right. Go controller team. Here we go. All right. So I'll have to go to main phase. Yeah. Let's just set three and pass. Go ahead. That's cool. I like that. Very brave. Thank you. The game so far is going exactly how I like it. A slow game. I have my floaters. I have my traps. Now all I got to do is set up my bamboo shoot with these traps and it's over for Sam. All right. All right, Steven. I will draw for turn. Yes. I will Normal Summon Summoner Monk. Normal Summoner Monk. It uses effect, it goes to defense mode. Is it a cost? Is it a cost? Once per turn, you could, I also don't know if this is new or old. Uh, once per turn, wait, so, uh, it's a cost? you can discard one, one spell. One discard is Normal Summon. You can discard, summon, it doesn't. effect activates to turn to defense position, and then it's cost to discard a spell card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. It's okay. activated effect to turn to defense position. Yes, so activates effect to turn to defense position. To defer, turn to defense position. Okay, and then... Yep. Anything here. And then is it cost? And then then, then I, I can choose to activate this effect right now. Okay. I'll use the effect. I will cost to send Silent Doom to the grave. Silent Doom. Um, I'm gonna think this one through a bit. Sure. I'll use Forbidden Chalice. Oh, and Summoner Mode? Yeah. Sure. That is completely fine. Ah! Ah, Chalice on Summoner Monk. That's huge because I discarded one of my best cards in my deck, Silent Doom, for that monk. Huge neg on my end, man. Huge neg. I'll synchro these two to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Okay, to so form a synchro summon. I will summon my Scrap Archfiend. Scrap Archfiend. Yes, sir. Nice. Now I will enter the battle phase, Scrap Archfiend, attack into your Mystic Tomato. Mm. Tough choices here, my friend. Yep. To think this one through a bit. <clears throat> All right. I thought it through. I will use Regeki Break. Sure. Regeki Break. One of the thousand traps I've ready for Sam. Let's go. I will get rid of Valor to destroy your Scrap Arch. No problem. And that will put me at the end of my turn? You can go, Steven. Draw. So right now we're at 8,000, uh, 8,000, 8, right? Yep. I will normal summon giant rats and attack you for 2,800 points of damage. I'll take it. I'll pass. All right, draw for turn. This will add back swings of memory? Yes. My hand. Yes. Okay. I will activate swings of memory. Yep. This card lets me revive back, of course, Janet's controller from my graveyard. Yep. Okay. Cool. That's good. Now what's going to happen is I get to normal summon my Genix Furnace. If you control face of Genix, you can almost summon this card without tributing. Nice. Cool. Now, I'm gonna synchro these two. The synchro summon into my 
Thermogenics. Whoa, we'll have to read this one. This card gains 200 attack for each fire monster in your graveyard. So it is at 26 or 22? It, it's, it's at 24 normally. Yep. You have one fire in your grave? Yes, sir. So it'll be 2600. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each Gen X monster in your grave. Mm. So that is going to be inflicting 600 points of damage. Yes. All and right. Steven, that is it. I am at turn. So the reason why I summon Thermogenics and pass is because I don't want to attack into Steven's floaters. I want Steven to commit into attacking his floaters into my monsters. So that way that if he tries to get his engine steamrolling, he has to keep attacking to, into my Thermogenics. That way he'll lose more damage in that certain situation. It's just going to be used as a big body for now. And, and he has to try to find ways to get over it. Okay, I will draw. Yes, sir. All right, I will set. I'll put these in defense and I'll pass. All right, draw a turn? Yeah. I will set one card face down, and now I will end up my turn. Draw. All right. I'll put Giant Rat in attack position. Yep. And I will attack. That is fine. So you lose. Tw so you lose twelve hundred. No, so you lose. So you're at twenty six. six. I'm at fourteen, so I'll lose twelve hundred. Yes. Plus six more, so I lose eighteen hundred. Yes, yeah, so you lose eighteen hundred. Yep. yep. Giant Rat's effect. Mm -hmm. I'll bring a Naturia Rose Whip. True. And then, my main phase two, yep. I'll tribute summon for an Arturia Bamboo Shoot. I'll tribute summon, I'll activate Solomon. Oh! No! 2000. Oh. No! Solemn warning. Oh my. The only trap that could stop me right now. You see that? You see that? I waited for Steven to commit into attacking to my Thermogenics. Now, solemn warning into his Bamboo Shoot. If that card touched the field, I probably lost this game. So I saved that warning just for that Bamboo Shoot. Oh, man. That's a good one. That was a really good one. No, Steven. Oh, I thought it. I had you there. Let that happen, my guy. So that means that you're a 3,200. Yes. Oh, man. I'll have to set and pass. Draw a turn? Yep. I will normal summon Genix Searcher. Yep. I'll enter the battle phase. Yep. Genix, uh, Thermogenix, attack into your tomato. Tomato effect. So you lose 600? Yep. Yep. You guys should probably keep track. Can you, can you give me your phone? Hands up. So how much is that? Okay. And that's pretty much it, Steven. I am my turn. Draw. All right. I'll use Econ. Sure. Tributing Sangan to take this. That is fine. Triggering Sangan effect. Yep. That is fine. Adding the Turia Cosmo Beat. Yep. Normal summon. Yep. Anything here? Nope. Making Naturia Barkeon. Mm -hmm. Good. That is fine. Enter battle. Yep. Attack response. Uh, no response. Damage step. Yep. 2900. Damage count. Mm -hmm. Oh! Limited removal! Oh my! I did all of that prepared for everything that he can't trap me. I even econ his own car that's an earth to be able to do this. Oh my god, dude. That, that was heartbreaking. Limiter removal. One of the ace cards in my entire deck, not only does Steven will lose 2,600 damage, but he also take the burn damage of Thermal's effect. This puts this at 48. Ah! Puts at 4,800, so kills the bar no, kill. It'd be, it'd be uh, 52. Uh, yeah, so oh, yeah, it's, 52, origi yeah. it's original. No, no, all feats are more, no, it doubles the attack. Oh, oh sh okay. So this is at 52? Yes. 52, yeah. So you take 27. So you take 27. Yeah, I'll take 27. So you take 27, 24, how much is that? 51. Oh, oh man. So no! Plus, plus. <laughs> I went, I went. One, ah. two, three. I took a four. chance there. So you, take, so you took 27 plus 800. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'll have to pass. Yeah. Limited removal effect, destroys it. Draw for turn. So 28. So you're at 28, I'm at 21. Yes. Okay. Well, something jacks control. Uh, neutron. 
Do you activate this now or at the end phase? It's, it's the end phase. Cool. Pedal phase, attack. Fuck. He has no targets. I don't think so. I don't even have a target. I do have a target. Really? It's just not the best. Okay. So. End phase. You're at 17. End phase, neutrons effect. Yep. Let's be add a machine tuner. Controller. Controller. I go. Your turn, Steven. Pot of Avarice. Pot of Avarice! All right, guys. I got to make a big play now. I've been saving some of my cards for this very moment. I have enemy controller. So I have to figure out what card am I going to steal? What card am I going to tribute? There's a way to do this to play around back row. And my game plan here, I have to figure out some way. Some way, somehow. Am I going to take his monster? How am I going to get rid of it? I can't synchro it. I have no extra deck monsters to do that. So I think I'm going to find a very interesting way here to stop his back row and clear his board and have board presence and protection. I'll put this in defense. Yep. I'll set this and I'll pass to you. Go ahead. You're 17. Oh, wait, I'm at 17? You're 17, yeah. I'll set this too. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I'll normal summon Genic Searcher. Enter battle phase. Genic Searcher will attack the battle phase. Vanishes? Oh, no, 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 no. It doesn't get banished. I'm trying to attack. And that's pretty much it. All right, Avarice or lose? Yo, good luck. I need Pot of Avarice ASAP. Denzel, is it good? Yes, sir, skis. Go ahead. That's what yeah, you 17, needed. Eh? <laughs> wow. That's what you needed. You summon? Oh yeah, oh, this is, oh, he must have Trendle Tribute. Yeah, I, I don't want to lose to that. I want to enter battle phase. Genix Searcher attack for 1600. So I'm not here, I have a 100. Genix Neutron? Neutron! Yes! Stop him! Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I made it even with the Torrential. I was like, stop it? Ah, let's go! Yeah. All right, now I need the Pot of Avarice, baby. Now it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Let the combat begin! That's right. That is right. Main two? Yeah. Almost summon. On nine? Yeah. I'll use on nine's effect to cost. Yeah. Send a water? Yeah. I will send my three born frog. Yep. So this will be the craziest comeback. To add Genesis controller from my deck to my hand. Yep. Okay, my Genix is taking control, baby. And now, uh, I am my turn. You're, you're good. Okay, here it goes. This is all a real duelist needs. Heart of the cards, pot of avarice, power of friendship, guide me. I am putting my hand on the deck as well. To give Come you on. the heart of the card. Thank you, thank you, Denzel. Of friendship. Thank you, Denzel. Of everything. Thank you. Of what you need. Hold well, on, I need your help too. Let's give it whatever it is. Friendship. Bro. Friendship. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah baby. <laughs> Let's go. Pass. Draw. Wow. It's at my face. Treeborn frog. You know, unlike Milano, I, I don't forget effects. <laughs> I will let Treeborn go. Treeborn, anything here on something you want to try? Nope. Go? Enter battle phase. Genix new Sam? Card. What? Do you have balls? Yeah, I have balls. Give me one more turn. <laughs> <laughs> this is a homie drop or what? Steven, you know what? You know what's crazy? You have five cards in hand. You're you the best you go put. You're better than Yugi himself. You know what's crazy, Steven? Like Kaiba's in shambles watching. What's one more turn? Steven, you know what? You're right. Thank you, I know. You're right, you're right. Thank That's you. why. You're a great duelist, bro. I'm gonna normal summon uh, Genix Controller. Sounds good. Yeah, good? Yep. I will synchro summon these two into Armory Arm. Sounds good. I'm gonna flex on you even more. I'm gonna activate Swings of Memory. Yep. Or as you my Genix Controller. Yep. Now I'll synchro these two. Yep. The Genix Undyne. Oh. Hydro wow. Genix. Oh, I'll go. Good? Okay. Yep, that's good. And you know what's so crazy? What's that? All my monsters are in attack mode because... Because why? Sorry, I'm just looking through my deck. No problem. For this card here. So I'll enter the battle phase. Uh, that's fine, but you said you're not going to attack. I know you're a man of your word. No, no, I didn't say I was going to attack. You, you said you were not going to attack. No, I never said that. That's like saying... I never said that. that. You said that. I never said that. You said that. Isn't that... I never said that. You're not going to give me your man's word? I never said that. I think that's a rule in Yu-Gi-Oh. I never said that. That's like an argu arguable game loss. Wait, what? I'll... I'll... Yeah, I'll... What did I say? Roll back the clip. You're in the Roll back the clip. Like Kaiba's in shambles watching. What's... One more turn. Steven, you know what? You're right. You're right. Hydrogenics! Wait! What? 
This is my draw phase, right? Since you passed. Hi, George! We don't draw for them, man. Go, do okay. your thing, man. Do your thing. Get the wrong draw, damn it! GG. No, I'm gonna let me finish you. <laughs> Hi, Joe Jennings! Attack! GG. GG's. <laughs> no! Hey, why is that in your deck? One of enemies. Uh. I have a way to like ten ways to get the giant rat. Uh, oh. Through like all my stuff, get, all of my floaters get to each other in some weird way with Senga. I lost, but I have veins on my forearms and biceps, so I really won. It's all good. Let's go, baby! Yes, that is four Jordan victories, not in a row. But I think I have, I think I have five victories this season now. Maybe four or five. I can't really count, I don't know. Maybe I have five wins, I don't know. This is my revenge arc for last season why I didn't win a single, single episode. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys for watching this episode of Duel Night. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to show off the awesome beast strategy, but you know what? You will be able to see some more on Patreon. I'll finally get a real duel, believe it or not. Let's go. You guys will be able to see me versus Denzel on Patreon. The Patreon classic, you already know what it is. It's gonna be very exciting. You guys should definitely check it out. Anyways, guys, it has been The True Duelist. Signing out, farewell. I gotta come back on an episode stronger when I got the cards that I'm familiar with. And you know what? I'm I'm taking these guys out. I was so appreciative to come back on this episode. I really enjoy being here. It's good to have the old crew back. Parenthood is exhausting and it's fun at the same time. I love every moment. Hey, I can't really complain now. Having a great time and I hope all you guys are too. See you on the Patreon and see you next time. Guys, thank you for watching this Duel Night. We are used to finals, just gonna win, but it's okay. It's always a blast to film on Duel Night. Shout out to Sam for winning. Thank you guys for coming on. Make sure to check out Patreon where you can see me get my revenge on Sam. And Sam and Milano have a nice little rivalry. So you're going to see a little behind the scenes, uh, little smack talk too. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace. GG, Steven. That was a great, great match. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Duel Night. If you guys enjoy the content, make sure you guys check out the Patreon in the link description box below because Milano and Denzel, they're both playing the Ultimate Losers match right now. It's going to be a great game. It's best two out of three on the Patreon where you guys can check that out. And me and Steven are going to continue our best two out of three finals on the Patreon as well. Guys, thank you guys so much for supporting us on the Patreon. Without you guys, Duel Night will not be where it's at today. Be sure to get your Supreme Pro sleeves in the link description box below. You guys can use the code POC10 or POTATO10 for 10% off your entire sleeve orders. And these are the official sponsors, Supreme Pro by TX1.com for Duel Night. So guys, get your sleeves today in the link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's your boy Sam from Team Sam Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace.